What's up guys, welcome back to another vid on the channel. This one's sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box, but like the usual last few, we're out with Adele, man. We're having a bunch of fun. We are gonna try and get a Mystery Tackle Box slam at some new ponds. We've already knocked out four of the seven baits in the box. I'm just gonna go ahead and spoiler alert you on that right there. We're catching fish, but we got plenty more to catch. Sun is going down and we got some top water lures in tonight's box we're gonna tell you about. Let's go ahead, get a few of these things tied on, get into it and have some fun. <laughs> okay guys so what i'm gonna do though is i think that skirt's just mm, you know what it might not be too long that's actually okay i was thinking about cutting it a little bit so that all this action really pops from the flippers of this creature or i'm sorry beaver bait but uh i think we'll just leave it it should be good we'll toss this thing out here for a second guys this gopro's acting up i don't know if i need to change the battery or not but i just got a catch on this uh, jig with the beaver bait trailer right here by my feet I'm hoping it's safe, but I just went back through the GoPro files and it doesn't look like it is, so I'm going to throw this mini recon next, but I'm going to throw it on braid, that way it doesn't dive quite as deep. Since this, uh, I don't know how deep it is in the middle, it could be fairly deep, but definitely towards the banks, I don't want it to be way down low. So three to six foot diver. Let's see what happens here. I'm about to drop this little thing in here, scoop them up. Gotcha, kid. <laughs> Got him on a little tube in the hook. Dude, that's a two for one right there, y'all. Three odd hook. And this uh, tube looking thing. That is so funny. He was irritated at this thing on his bed. And he's just right here by our feet, you guys. Funny catch. Funny catch. Let's see if I can't get him off this hook. Look at that, man. First one for the slam, and technically it's first and second. That crank doesn't really work in here too good because of this grass. It's that crummy kind that you don't want to work with. But uh, we got a couple other options I'm gonna start throwing here in just a second. And we got homie mowing his lawn, so audio's not gonna be the best. Let's let you go right back to your home. See ya. Meanwhile, Adele's over here trying to get the beaver bait knocked out. He's helping me out. He's uh, working on this bed right over here, y'all. I really hope that jig catch was on camera, but I think I'm gonna have to throw it later to get a catch on it. That one's so mad. I'm gonna see if I can knock this out with him. Dude, you, you seriously, I mean, all right guys so what we're gonna have to do to antagonize this one i think is swim this jig in and drop it right on the bed he looked pretty aggressive right off the bat sometimes they calm down after a minute after you throw the same lure but here we go we're swimming it in and now we're gonna drop it and he's gonna oh he's not definitely doesn't like it oh he just said f you Let's try this again. We're gonna have to swim it in. Drop it down. I wonder if he would go after the crankbait. Go after the crankbait. Oh! That was it. Yeah, what you gotta do is you gotta like bring it in real hastily like, and just like not let him see it. You gotta bring it in fast. We're working them different guys. So this one over here on this bed, you had to, uh, he was just riled up and he was gonna attack it no matter what. This guy down here, you gotta swim it in and catch him off guard every time and you'll only get one chance for him to hit it it seems like and then he is like okay i don't want it here we go oh missed it he's about to grab it he's got it oh god found the area he doesn't want me to be at all right guys next couple casts we got him we're dialing this one in that weed eater is really helping here we go Yep, he's gonna munch it. He's about to munch it. He's about to munch it. He's going for the kill. He's going for the kill. He's got it. Yes! That's what we're talking about, guys. That's how you work a bass off the bed right there. You gotta figure out what they like and just uh, keep staying on them. Consistency. That's another two for one, bro. That means we just knocked out this beaver bait and the jig. So literally the juicy casting jig and that, uh, I believe it was the big bite baits yep. beaver. So all we have left is two top waters essentially because we have that one swimming fish by 13 fishing with that little blade yeah. and then we have the buzz bait and we have the mini recon crank bait yes guys Shoo. oh did a little dance for us thank you sir you think they'd hit it at the other pond for sure guys nothing but one blow up on the buzz bait what we're gonna do is head across the street adele knows of another good spot for top water catch you there <laughs> 
All right, man, we made it. And it's looking pretty good. And devote all of our time until sunset on these two top water lures. Definitely recommending braid on this guy right here because he floats so I was noticing with that uh, other line I was using that fluoro it kind of wants to pull the nose down and that's no bueno all I brought with me was the line cutters didn't bring any other gear that's cool because you can collapse these things just toss those back in my pocket and boy they are sharp one little clip cuts through braid fluoro mono you name it boys Walking it, dude. Walking it. How are we supposed to know this, man? You can walk this thing or just kind of pop it. And that led to the first bite after two casts. No, like the first one. Oh my God. Okay, you do walk this thing. It stays subsurface. You got him. Yes. On the buzz bait. Oh. <laughs> this thing sucks. <laughs> we both suck. We both have gotten hits in the last oh two minutes. <laughs> God, Golly. Almost. Oh. Just spooked big and got him. Yes, yes, guys, on the 13 fishing thing. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> I was kind of like fluking him again, like walking him underwater. Yes. We got a hog, baby. Nothing but brutes on today's video. Sometimes when you're throwing mystery lures, you just catch many small fish and you don't even know what you're doing with them. Yeah! <laughs> Feels good. Almost got the slam, man. And here comes all the frogs. Wow, they're about to get riled up. Well, kind of like sucked it under almost. I was almost like fluking them, just kind of like that, 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 kind of walking it. So I know this thing is intended, guys, to be like just swam across the top, but I'm finding it interesting bringing it below the surface kind of you just kind of get lucky with it and uh and, and it kind of does a little bit of this motion right here like a little fluke would and i think that's how i got that catch i don't even know if i was swimming it on top or not that time gonna have to re-rig this thing never used this before that was cool plastic is good to go man all right maybe we can catch a big though before dark this is how tense you get when throwing top water apple watch tells you to breathe <laughs> you're waiting on those bites Well, the sunlight is fading, you guys. <laughs> We've made quite a few casts, got a lot of bites, missed a lot of fish, but we did try some crazy new lures, that is for sure. I've got to throw this thing some more and really see what it's made of. I'll just catch up with you guys when I get back to the house. Oh, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Another mystery tackle box slam attempt, man. And it was an attempt, let me tell you. These get tough sometimes. But I want to tell you a little bit more about mystery tackle box. You guys can try your first box for as low as $10. Uh, mystery tackle box is trying to up the game. And they're now going to start including in the next couple months if they haven't rolled it out already. Uh, more baits in the box. Uh, even higher quality stuff than they already provide you guys on a month-to-month -month basis. And it's just a subscription service to get new baits every single month. If maybe you're like me and you want to get out of your comfort zone and I don't need to go to the store and pick stuff off the shelf, they're going to send me stuff that I have never used before in many cases and uh, appropriate to the season and the type of fish you're going for. So recently, Devin and I had done a trout video where we had taken the mystery tackle box for the trout species and actually gone out and caught a bunch of trout. We did a catch and cook. So Mystery Tackle Box does offer boxes for different species with different baits every single month. Here's a little run through of some baits that I just did a slam for the Mystery Tackle Box channel on. Uh, we had a little top water, the spinner shad. We had this Strike Pro bait right here. This guy is really sweet, like a multi-jointed swim bait. I think this thing right here is about 14 bucks. This guy is about $11. And you guys can try your first box for 10 bucks, man. Different soft plastics. There was some hooks in here and a jig that I had lost. But just to try new baits and submit your catches for chances to win prizes from Mystery Tackle Box. It's just a fun service, man. Also included is tips and tricks, oftentimes on how to fish the baits that have come inside of your box. You guys get everything you need to hit the water and go and catch some fish. Now, for a lot of you watching my video, 
videos, of course, I assume you're gonna go with the Bass Box. This is the Pro Box that I order on a month-to-month -month basis. This month's included two topwaters, which you saw in today's video, uh, a buzzbait, and then that new 13 fishing motorboat, I believe is what it's called. And essentially, that thing looks really good when cruising over pads. I had watched a video on that uh, bait while we were out, and what I found out was working for me was popping it like a fluke, and sometimes it'll dart underwater, and that blade just kind of stirs up a little commotion, and the fish were hitting it just subsurface. So that was pretty cool, but of course, just a steady chuck and wind is gonna be what most people are gonna do with that bait, and the fish do come up and smash it. It was just the first time using it. Now the buzz bait, that's gonna attract a lot of big fish. Those buzz baits are loud and noisy. You can use them in stained water, clear water. Quick recommendation on your top water, guys, is now that it's getting to be summertime, the water's warming up, these fish are active early morning and late evening. Your best chance to catch these top water fish is at first light and then right as the sun is setting, man. Go out there, tear these things up, and we'll see you on tomorrow's video. Peace. Hey.